Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is once again BSL Season 11, Round of 8. And this is going to be Style as the orange Protoss in the upper left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner. We have Sone as the pink Terran. This is on Eclipse. And I wanted to... So, I didn't get... Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't have a huge amount of time or energy or money, really. I don't have a lot to work with here. <laughs> I still want to get these games out and commentate. But what I do, I should be doing, and I will need to do in the near future, is get some of the BSL logos and all that other stuff out here. So, as a little bit of a side apology, while I don't have the logo, excuse me, while I don't have the logo up right this second, uh, check out BSL, Bombastic Star League, all the life stuff that happens there. It is awesome, and I will hopefully have the link of everything in the description. I, what I need to really do is automate that. Creating all these chores for myself all of a sudden, and I'm probably not going to do any of them. Maybe I'll do <laughs> with Twitch, I'll do a meta stream and fix the rest of it. Anyway, we see a pylon being placed down and an immediate probe scout to get eyes on Sone, which suggests it's possible that we might see that quick zealot or a gas steal. Either way, we have a depot being placed uh, for Sone. I'm wondering if he's going to go for the barracks position right here as that nice protective ring. Actually, I actually haven't seen that depot positioning before. So I'm curious how he's going to build kind of the anti-zealot ring if Style comes in and sees this and is like, actually, oh, so it's going to be alongside. I don't like this one as much because this is just a large area to traverse in between the command center and the barracks. Going for the gas steel, but sewn on top of it. Or yeah, you can see the position he was trying to ring around and go for that. But sewn already in position to go ahead and grab his own gas. Gateway is being built with this probe running around in the background that does make it a little bit more th that does open up options to kind of come around and do some harassment with some speed if you get that zealot up in there uh trying to harass this probe that's building the refinery to slow down that gas one scv and gas we're going to see two so it's two scv and gas three scv and gas which suggests we're going to see a faster factory built and actually one pulling off so i think that was one from the gas that's pulling off and the SCV going to go ahead and start scouting now because with all those shenanigans, I think Sone getting a little bit thrown off and a little bit off his game. We are seeing that initial zealot, by the way, but not doing any scouting, which means he doesn't even know what he's up against at this stage. Very dangerous territory to be in. It is possible that this second zealot could pop out and block the ramp. This SCV is certainly going to see this zealot coming, though. And it looks like that Marine... So that probe not able to dance in the main long enough. It looks like it's just going to maybe rejoin with this zealot. We'll see how dedicated this attack is going to be. If he swings around once this zealot is here, it's going to be a little bit more aggressive attack. No, it's just going to head back home. Zealot giving up the ramp, so Sone is going to be able to walk in and see the cybernetic score being built. That's very low on health. A little bit of a late cybernetic score. Overall, two Marines, two SCV on the front door of that factory is going to be there in the background. And the zealot finding nothing and immediately just gonna hang out there at the natural perhaps to get extra scouting information to follow this up four marines being built which actually even with this he's pretty safe and he had the scout i think maybe he saw that additional zealot coming and was a little bit concerned dragoon about three-fourths finished range is being upgraded no additional gateways which suggests we're going to see maybe one gate into expand something along those lines or one gate tech probe trying to chase down this sev in the upper left hand corner to get it out of the field Nice protective ring, machine shop. This is looking like it might be just a one factory into expand. Those four marines and that single SCV wailing on those zealots. Almost all of the shields stripped off before it was able to... That was actually nice micro on Styles part to go ahead and back out. And as I say that, maybe not because additional marines are being produced. So maybe going for some odd... And I haven't seen this before. Yeah, going for a one factory rush, perhaps. Perhaps a fake FD, something along those lines. Something-ish like that. Um, I will admit, this is where my ter my lack of Terran build orders comes into play. This is a single factory rush, I think, because just the sheer volume of Marines that are being produced. If these Zealots sneak back in, it might be able to get a good look at that. But it's, I assume, going to be a slow vulture, two tanks to follow this. Interesting, going for the mines instead. SCV coming out with it. The Zealots seeing all of that, they're going to go ahead and back up. Two gateways have been produced, robotics facility down, that might pause, so Style actually popping a pylon along that corner. He has all sorts of units out in that field, that SCV, I should have maybe paid attention, I wish I could get rid of that, but that SCV is in that upper ranking corner with 14 health, has managed to evade everything. That's four. Uh, that's two Dragoons, two Zealots, sneaky sneaky SCV, which might be able to move back around and get a good look at the natural, might even be able to sneak into the main. 
robotics facility is being produced for style. Let's see if he goes to observatory to follow. And yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, there it is. There's the push. So vultures to follow with mines and siege tech underneath it. This is a considerable attack force. Usually when you're engaging this, what you want is you want your dragoons right in your opponent's face. So you can kind of stutter step and pick off things with hold position here and there. Zealots wandering up. They are going to be able to uh, maybe not kill that SCV, but while Style is going to be in some trouble because while he's messing with that, his army is not gathered and he is dealing with the rush. So it looks like he was not expecting this. Keep in mind, he didn't move his zealots back in to see the pure volume of the Marines. Now he's got a gathered army. He might still be able to micro his way through all of this. But that's a lot of Marines. The Marines do shred Dragoon armor quite rapidly. Zealots right on top of the Marines, though. Nice mine. And here's the thing with those zealots still alive, you can get those sort of mine drags. Wow! Oh, it still happened! I was about to say, Soane got really lucky that that mine drag did not happen right on top of those tanks. Tank about half health. I think that might have stopped that rush in its tracks. He's going to siege up on the high ground. Might try to slow push this in. But we do have an observer being produced. Ooh, yeah. So hitting from a distance. This is plenty of Dragoons to honestly just walk up and take the siege tank out. And you can just build this. Yeah, there's the shuttle to kind of just drop all over this. He's getting his natural expansion up. Style in a pretty good position. Looks like Sone has gone ahead and got his natural expansion in the back corner. After applying that initial pressure, now wandering forward with the Siege and Unsiege, hearing it. Mind drag from the Dragoon into the Siege Tanks. Gets both the Siege Tank and the SCV. Nice play. And the rest of the Dragoon's easily going to be able to clean this up. And now reestablish some map position. Problem with uh, reestablishing, and actually, because there's no Vulture speed, should have an easier time doing that than usual, because the Vulture is a little bit slower running away from those Dragoons in open field. Nexus is actually going to be behind Sone's own natural expansion, and he's going to have that saturated, so a slight economic lead here for Sone. Overall, second factory being placed. Has that engineering bay, just in case there are, uh, I assume, DTs, reaver drops, things like that. Two zealots inside that shuttle to deal with any additional siege tank pressure. A single vulture. I'm wondering if it's just going to move up to that 12 o'clock location, plant a mine to provide some map control there. Missile turrets being planted along the perimeter. So Sone feels like he's in a good economic position, is a little bit concerned about either Dark Templar, because keep in mind, he does not have eyes, or perhaps Reaver Drops. But instead, we see a Citadel of a Dune being placed, and the Dragoons moving forward. Here's the thing for Sone is, so yeah, he's got Siege Check. Yeah, he established things, but Style, after clearing everything out, has a good deal of map control, and he has a lot of Dragoons out on the field. He's not gonna, it'll take him a little bit of time to feel comfortable enough to go ahead and take that 12 o'clock base, but you can kind of get a soft, you can get a soft contain. I love it when players do this, they put that barracks above the turrets, but anyway. Actually moving up there with that observer to go ahead and clear that out, that vulture is probably not long for life, needs to be careful with that mine, but shuttle with a dragoon and two zealots in position it has been spotted by the engineering bay, so he's gonna go ahead and back out. I think he was hoping to do some bombs on top of the on top of that tank. That tank's range considerable, but there's no units on the low ground. And this is just a skeleton crew. It, skeleton crew. He's going to drop with those zealots on top instead, and they are all over that siege tank back line. And this is where Sone, losing all those units earlier, is in a lot of trouble because this is dragoons and zealots on the high ground group repairing that tank, which is actually going to work out very well because there are not enough dragoons to get just the sheer volume. I take it back. The SCVs falling over themselves, not repairing fast enough. I thought they were going to be able to do group repair. SCV's trying to deal with these Dragoons. Linebackering in that direction is, and group repairing on the Siege Tank against the Zealot. But the Zealot slowly working that Siege Tank down. So losing a lot of units. He is able to clear the units out of his base. So this isn't going to be death for him. But he is going to get some nice damage pickup. He's going to keep that Siege Tank and other unit count low. He actually managed to take a turret out. Did he preserve? I don't think he preserved his shuttle, unfortunately but still contains map control. It looks like he's going to be able to wander in and do some additional harassment and continue to keep this natural from producing while he takes that 1 o'clock base. So Siege Tank continuing to wail on this front line. This The Dragoon should get cleared out from here. That Observer going to be able to sneak out a little bit. And so once again able to reestablish his natural expansion, but he has bled. If you kind of think back at all of the Siege Tanks and all of the Vultures he's lost, and honestly, all the SCVs he's lost currently. This is not, oof, not where you want to be. Observer moving kind of in a corner position. 
Citadel of Dune is going ahead and upgrading that Zealot Leg Speed. Two additional gateways being plopped down, and honestly, at this stage, Style could probably pump that up. He does have a Templar Archives, so it is possible we'll see some DTs, but I have a feeling that is more for the Arbiter tech with that Stargate in the background. He can basically tech to whatever he wants here. He, is, he still has full map control. It's Vulture Speed being produced for Sone, but... Honestly, with the map position that Style has, he can just kind of filter this in with additional Dragoons and deal with a lot of that Vulture Harass before it even gets started. Double Forge on the Natural, so we can go ahead and get those double upgrades and try to stay ahead in that field. Sone has gone up to six factories, which means he is going Factory Ban. Did not mean to, <laughs> did not mean to move that with emphasis, but we're going to do it intentionally this time. Factory Man. Leave it at that position. I'm not sure if that zoomed in or zoned out. <laughs> Zoomed in or zoomed out, not zoned out. Sizable army with all of those factories being produced, but I think he should be able on the high ground be able to re-engage this and not feel too troubled with reinforcements that he's able to relevy. Let's see. Giving up the high ground a little bit, but still getting a lot of damage as he's just kind of walk and I'm looking for the reinforcements to come across. Looks like he's just gonna go ahead and walk this all the way back to his main. He does have five gateways up. He's gonna have he has zealot leg speed, I believe. So he should be able to deal with this, but that gives Sone at least a little bit of breathing room to go ahead and perhaps move up and take his third. Zelt's grouping up in that shell level one weapons, level one armor, being upgraded otherwise. And that is six gateways. Back corner, no Arbiter just yet. Cannon in the main, just in case. A DT wandering in. That is one bugged out mine. He was trying to get a mine drag, and the mines just would not do it. While that's all happening, some vultures were wandering up, trying to get what they could at the one o'clock location. The pylons blockading all that, and the Dragoon's right there to go ahead and clear the rest of that out. Looks like the Observer's being a little bit lazy and out of position to deal with that. Cannon warping in behind that. The re Now, Sone, realizing his position, feeling economically behind, I think he wants to end it here. He has a lot of gateways and is trying to produce out of all of them. More Vultures, at the very least, he might be able to get a contain. More Vultures streaming across that. It's four Siege Tanks, but Stasis is upgrading. That is a Zealot with some Zealot Bombs. His secondary army is completely out of position, though, to provide any sort of support, and I don't know that this is enough to clear it up. Maybe with some micro. Zealots right on top of those siege tanks. More Dragoons wandering forward. Good mind drag into those siege tanks, but still plenty of vultures. Now that army is starting to filter through, but they're running headlong into a minefield back there, which is definitely delaying this. It doesn't look like Sone has enough to clear this out, and Styles continuing to reinforce, continuing to clear this up, and that is once again... Oh! Does manage to sneak a couple vultures by, but... And he is going to get mines on that gateway location. I think that's going to be cleaned up shortly, though. And that's going to put Sone in a very bad position. A couple of Dragoons dying here and there to some mines that were around the field. Those Vultures getting wiped out fairly rapidly. More Siege Tanks up above. Shuttle is empty, just providing a little bit of bait, perhaps, and some spotting. Or perhaps just Miss Micro on a General Group A move. Sone continuing to try to press this forward. Does have the high ground with that Siege positioning. But here's the thing. Style can just sit back, continue to macro, and he will continue to take the lead. He is at 96 supply versus 62. He has three bases mining. He's getting his fourth. I don't see anything here for Sone to really punch this through. So all he needs to do is sit back, continue to macro, and defend, and he will end up winning this match. Zealots on top of the, the siege tanks, continuing to press forward. SCV desperately trying to pair that front tank. It looks like he, that is going to keep it alive for quite a long period of time. And all of a sudden, those units were completely wiped out. So Style, having a little bit of miss macro, I still think he's going to be able to macro his way back into this. Siege tank on that high... Sieging up right on top of some zealots isn't exactly where you want to siege, though. More, more cannons being plopped down. Style just needs to spend his money. That's all he really needs to do. And right now, it doesn't look like that's happening. Another DT out... And some Zelt scooped in, but he doesn't have any Dragoons on the ground to defend against uh, these Vultures. It looks like that... Ooh. Ma does manage to take out that DT before that Siege Tank dies. These SCVs have been heroes. Absolute heroes. A single Marine to try to deal with that shuttle. And that tank is continually being siege and unsieged. Style has done... If nothing else, Style has done a fantastic job of delaying this attack force while he continues to get army out. I don't, yeah, there he's getting some additional gateways and continuing to macro up. Marine moving a little bit too forward, sacrificing his life for it. He, sieging on the natural, but honestly, even with this, even with this strong position, and what is that, four siege tanks? I still think Style should be able to defend this. He has an Arbiter on the way, and I think once that Arbiter's out in the field, that might be it. And even with this, a couple Zealots and some good drags, 
before that turret gets up, and he's still in good position. Mind drag. Oof, very close. Siege tanks now killing their own mines to try to clear that field out just so that he's not doing himself any self-inflicted damage. Also, level 1 weapons, level 1 armor, and we don't see any upgrades comparatively. But, as I say this, Sone is still here, and he is still pressing forward into this natural expansion. Here's the thing. Even if he takes out this natural, there's still the 1 o'clock mining, and there's still that third base uh, at the... I guess it's 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, approximately. Those two bases are still mining. Forge is unpowered. He's not going to get additional upgrades there, but Sone needs to end the game here. He's sitting at 2 base. This has to be victory or nothing. Style moving out with the rest of his army. Now he has that Arbiter, but this Arbiter is almost a little bit... I don't want to say too little too late, but it's... With those turrets in place, it's not going to be as effective as it might have been otherwise. Zealots moving across that front, tr desperately trying to get on top of those siege tanks, but there are a huge amount of vultures here. And Style might not be able to macro his way out of this. Despite everything I was saying. He sees the... Here's the thing. He sees the army coming. He's got this observer. He sees the constant supply of units coming across, but... He just can't seem to breach this contain. More Zelts moving forward. That Arbiter taking a lot of damage. And those mines just are not doing Sone any favors. They're a nice mine. Good mine drag blowing up a lot on that front. Still three siege tanks pounding out the front. A lot of high ground reinforcements coming in as well. And slowly, it looks like Sone might take this game just through persistence and patience. Good positioning and I'll be honest, some lucky mines where they just did you just could hear them on the audio or they're and just not blowing up in his face he is behind in supply but the vast majority of that supply is basically probes i'm wondering if a stasis is going to come into play here that might be the difference in this fight units are starting to get to the point where they're going to be funneled in having difficulty getting on the low ground try to defend this styles okay again he's still okay if he loses this natural he just needs to get rid of this army on his front as long as he can get rid of this army, he will win this match. But Sone, continuing to press forward, now getting spot on the high ground. A regather. Is this the stasis that will end it? Huge stasis catching a lot of those siege tanks. Dragoon's now moving forward. The Zealot's getting cleaned up fairly rapidly. And I think this might still be too many siege tanks on that back corner. He was able to clear that turret out. But this gives Style some breathing room to regather and reinforce. Sone continuing to pour the units forward. Zealot's just seem almost entirely ineffective as just trying to push into that minefield and the, the vultures just right there to obliterate them another shuttle out but nothing in it and it looks like it's wandering right in oh that's gonna die before it was even in use unfortunate same thing with that dragoon and while all that was happening it looks like some of the vultures found that one o'clock base and have managed to sneak in before the cannons have warped in and they are going to get a lot of probe kills there which is going to debilitate Styles' ability to continue to produce units and to come back into this. Oof. Okay, anyone's game still. Sone continuing to press this natural expansion. Style having a lot of trouble macroing. His main is mined out. Can he hold on? So here's the thing. Sone just needs to keep the probes down there, ignore everything else, because he's this is where he's going to win it. Pressing things in and or keeping this contain, hard contain, and then starving his opponent out. I don't think he, he has the units to spare to press into this. Style regathering. Arbiter moving its way to the backfield. Maybe to try to catch reinforcing tanks and attack from the air. It just feels like Style can't get a good army engagement. He's kind of going through this funnel. And this is such a reinforced position that Sone is just pummeling it. Mines just in case there's another sneaky expansion being taken. This is, ba this is three bases versus... Basically one, because this is going to be mined out momentarily. So Sone's going to be down to one base. He's not going to be able to produce out of these factories. Nice stasis on that back line. Another Arbiter coming out. Does it have enough, enough energy for another? Another huge stasis. And now it looks like Style should be able to press forward and clear the rest of this out. He needs the Zelts because there's no Observer overhead to go ahead and clear out all those mines. They are proceeding to do so. They're, but this should be... Yeah. Once he's got that turret down... Now should be able to clear out this front. And now Style, through some two nice stasis, is able to break that front door contain. The scan's coming down, but honestly, it's just too little too late. There's just not enough units to stop this. A lot of this will come on stasis. Actually, here's a critical thing. A lot of this is going to come on stasis, I think. And I don't know that Style has enough on the ground to continue to, to press it out. Yeah, so there's one on stasis. He's got a Goliath in there working on that Arbiter. 
And now the rest has come on stasis. So despite what I thought where Stout would just be able to continue to micro his way into this, he has created a bit of a breach, but it's still not over yet. Sone still holding. Zealots running down in large group. There's a huge mind drag. That's all she wrote. I think that is going to be it. I don't know. Wow. That was a huge mine explosion. Sone is out of capital. These are all the units he has on the ground. His main is mined out. Trying to reestablish. You can just see that there's the handful of minerals peeking in. Natural expansions once again mining for style. His main is mined out, but he's still got... Well, he needs to get units at that 1 o'clock position. He's effectively... This is, back, this is kind of back to 2 base versus 1 base. So I take it back. Anyone's game. Can style continue to get units out here? He's got a couple latent dragoons that just aren't participating in that fight. Some vultures and a single siege tank want to disrupt that mining location. Style can't go and defend that, so that's a bit of a sacked base. Very scrappy game. All of a sudden, more mines being laid down. A DT might be able to sneak out and get something accomplished. Good disrupt. Stone doing everything he can to get back into this. He might think about going ahead and taking an expansion just to stay alive in this. DT wanting to get a good mind drag in those siege tanks, but getting splatted. Absolutely decimated as it's wandering up. The vulture's peeling off. Should be able to clear out that cannon, actually just by themselves, and actually stop that weapons upgrade and clear everything out from there. I'm not, I still don't think this is enough for style. Maybe through some good micro. He's got those zealots in the back corner. What is this? This is seven siege tanks, approximately. Regathering, re-engaging. We're gonna see another stasis? No stasis. Zealots have gotten top of the siege tanks. There just weren't enough mines there. That was all cleared out. Nice engagement from style. Looks like he's finally going to be able to breach this natural, working his way up to the high ground. And here's the thing, Stone was all in. He doesn't, he is not even peaked at trying to take a third. Dragoons on top of vultures right here, with some observers overhead, and the zealots pounding away as well. And now, yeah, completely cleared. The Nexus hasn't been taken out yet. Style should be able to save that. He needs to be careful walking across this minefield, though. Might just send the Arbiter. Okay, observer is there alongside. Yeah, being a little bit more cautious. Things looking bad for Sone now. His mains mind out. He lifted off his command center to go ahead and take that 9 o'clock. Sone threw everything he had at Style, and Style held. Threw some patience. I liked the double stasis. I think that was good. And I think he is going to be able to hold this Nexus. All Style needs to do now is continue to macro up, get a sizable army, and really just finish things. Finish it at that stage. Maybe even take an, I mean, if he wants to, maybe even take an additional Nexus. He doesn't have... Here's the thing for Style. He doesn't know what position he's in. He doesn't know what's going on around the map. Probe's transferring across. That'll get his economy back in bolstering. He's finally got a second round. It feels like he had just a control group of units there. Like one army. And finally, he's able to produce a second grouping to be out in the field. Distance mining here happening for Sone. Or distance gassing. Distance gassing, technically. Getting gas at a distance. Zealot up on that natural. Or sorry, outside that natural. Trying to be just annoying and it is successful <laughs> doing that it looks like. This is a lot of gateways. More Arbiters being produced. Regathering that army and Style needs to take some ground. Vulture's moving back in but there's Dragoons and a cannon. There's GG. Yes, yeah, Zone realizing a situation that it was a solid hold. And he wasn't going to be able to sneak his way back into this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a nice slugfest. Good match. Again, check out BSL Bombastic Star League and all of their live events. Everything should be in the description. Uh, from there, I will actually link it all. And in the future, hopefully I will figure out how to get the template thing working. Although I'm not going to do that right this second. Right this second, I'm going to go get lunch with live streamers. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.